it's actually heartbreaking to hear a lot of patients' stories and their journey to diagnosis. Um, I've worked in rare disease for some time, and this really is, um, this feels very different to me. We have a lot of patients who share, it took five, seven, 10, sometimes 12, sometimes 15 years to get diagnosed. Um, it's often, it's very challenging and it's often misdiagnosed for a different type, different neuromuscular disorder. Um, so it's a very, it can be a very long journey to diagnosis and a very painful one. Um, and a lot of patients I've learned are really um, left to struggle that whole time because they may bounce around from doctor to doctor, doctor, teams of doctors, and, you know, they may be misdiagnosed. They may be told that it's all in their head. Um, and those are very difficult things uh, for somebody to hear, obviously, and to live with. And imagine living, living with that for years and what that does to your psyche. And never, you know, nonetheless, they're not even getting treated. They're not getting treated for anything. So it's a very challenging journey. And my great understanding is that when they get to a specialist and they get to a neurologist, that that is who would make the diagnosis. Now, with that said, a major focus area for MGFA is on education, because as you hear so many of these patients talk, they actually talk about the lack of knowledge and specialty out there in the MG space. Obviously, that's very frustrating. Obviously, it's very difficult to get to a diagnosis if there's not proper education out there. Um, so that is actually the biggest piece. We're in year one of a three-year strategic plan, a new strategic plan. And that's actually the biggest piece of that strategic plan is education for um, general practitioners, um, certainly for on the clinical side, but also for patients. And we're specifically focused on um, remote areas and healthcare deserts. But education is just a huge focus area for us as an organization. Music